Hey guys, Caleb's Cards here. Come at you with a sports card collection update video. Got a bunch of baseball and football cards that I purchased over the last month, and it really piled up. I did not realize how much I had um, until I started trying to sort it out here just a few minutes ago. Um, I actually hadn't even looked at these cards since I purchased them. <laughs> I just kind of added them to the pile and just kept saving them for the video. And so this will kind of be a long video so I hope you'll strap in with me and uh, get some popcorn get, get a drink or something pause this video go ahead and make a snack or something but uh, we're just gonna look at baseball and football card and have a good time so uh, first off I did want to share uh, like just some highlights from a failed video I tried apparently it did not record I broke uh, some hobby packs from 2002 upper deck series 2 and I guess it just didn't record the second half of the video. Um, there wasn't really that great of stuff anyways, but we'll just look at it real quick. Uh, these are Upper Deck Plus cards. The number that 1,125, so Ordonios and Williams. Kevin Brown, I've never seen this insert before. Return of the Ace. Jason History, Matt Williams. Jason History, Andres Galarraga. Superstar Stomach, Gairo and Jones. So Hall of Famers there. Here's another Jones. Couple Randy Johnsons, uh, Year of the Decade, Pujols, I don't have that one yet. Clemens, two of those. Came with the only hit, Robert Person jersey. <laughs> not, not really anything good in that. And Jose Valverde rookie was like the only good, decent rookie. And there was a Derek Jeter card in there. So that was it. Um, I also got a package from Bambino Breaks. I got uh, I won a uh, break credit from Jimmy Gunn's contest. Um, I purchased two for myself, and then I think he gave me an extra one as part of the contest, even though the credit didn't quite amount to how much the break was. Uh, I don't know what teams I had or anything. He breaks late at night, so I was I was in bed already, so I couldn't see it because I have to be to work at 4 a.m. So um, I didn't, I don't even know this package is not even opened yet. So. This will be a complete surprise to you and me both. So that would be pretty cool to see if I got anything decent, you know. I got into uh, 2018 Top Series 1 and 2018 Tops Heritage. Figure those would be cool. So, put the stacks here. This is a uh, 2018 tops. Oh, actually, I guess the mix. So I don't know how he does his break. At least for this one, I usually don't do breaks that much. So, Robles Stevenson rookie. So I must have had the Nationals and the Orioles. Daniel Murphy, Tanner Roark. Ryan Zimmerman, Anthony Rendon, Howie Kendrick, there's Bryce Harper, it's cool, Steven Strasburg. Oh, I had Miami too, apparently. So that must have been the second one he gave me. John Carlos Stanton, Starlin Castro. He's with the Marlins now? Well, that's news to me. Martin Prado, Justin Moore, also the Tigers. Hmm. Jordan Zimmerman, James McCann, Jose Iglesias, Michael Fulmer, yes, yeah, I have absolutely no idea. Mark Trumbo. Kevin Galsman, Dylan Bundy, Manny Machado, Kevin Galsman, Adam Jones, Robin Shoup, Chris Tillman. Yes, I, I don't know what teams I had or it's just like. Uh, I, I have no idea. So I'm guessing these are the rookies and parallels or anything, any possible hits. Hopefully. Austin Hayes, rookie. Chance Cisco, Trey Mancini, second year technically. There's an insert of Miguel Cabrero, Christian Arroyo, the Giants, future stars. Christian Arroyo, Corey Dickerson, Alex Colome, Dini Hechevaria, Jake Odorizzi, Jake Odorizzi, Archer, Longoria. Who is he on the Giants now? Because I saw somebody like the Giants have some guy in Longoria. <laughs> Is that uh, where he's at now? 
don't know. Steven Souza, Alex Colomay, Brandon Belt, Hunter Pence, Ty Black, Matt Moore, Jeff Samarja, Johnny Cueto, Just Posey, Hunter Pence. So it doesn't look like I hit anything, but that's alright. It's the first break in a long time. Still some stars to add to my uh, star binder and stuff, so that's mainly why I wanted to get in it and get some newer cards. So that's cool. So that's what I won. See how we do it on time. 19 minutes. All right. So let's. Uh, the football smaller. So we'll, I think last time we started with baseball. I can't remember. <laughs> so we'll start with football. We'll start with the vintage. Got a 1960 Topps Milk Plum. Picked up a few of his cards. I think this is this is either 64, 65, or maybe 66 Philadelphia. I don't remember Milk Plum. 68 Tops of Milk Plum. Got some 1970 Tops Hall of Famers. Jackie Smith. Dave Wilcox. Hopefully I don't have these already. Bob Lilly. Paul Warfield. And Jim Otto. I got 74 Lyle Zadel from the Broncos. And Hall of Famer Claude Humphrey. 74 Tops All Pro. And got some rookies. I picked up one of them off. Leonard Fournette. Prison or Optic, I'm sorry. Uh, these came out of a box of random cards. Oops. Latavius Murray. Uh, Greg Olson. And I still haven't finished going through the box. Zach Miller, there's a couple of those. Of his rookies. Darren Sproles. Kadeem Carey. Finger Jack Frost would like that one. Tops fire. Brandon Graham. Pretty sure he's the one I'm thinking of on the Eagles. He was a pretty decent, decent uh, defense, def defensive end. <laughs> uh, Golden Tate. Back when he's in the Seahawks. Picked up a couple of Donovan McNabb rookies on CMC. They're really affordable. Metal Universe is kind of it's a promotional sample. So. That's kind of cool. That's the rookies. Here's some uh, favorite players. Picked up a couple Tebos. Picked up some Kurt Warners. There's a Donruss Elite parallel of some sort. There's a couple for the Len Dawson of uh, PC. And these are a couple cards I came across that thought were really cool. This Bobby Ingram. Can't really see him. But it's like. It's like Ghost. You know, looking. Litho Cell. I, I've never seen these cards before. I can't even come up. I can see it, but it's not picking up on the camera for some reason. But it's, it's cool. Then we got a Mario Williams. Uh, platinum influence. He's holding up a Michael Jordan rookie card that he owns. I thought that was kind of cool, neat, you know, own the MJ rookie. I think that was it for the football. Uh, baseball. As you see in the background, I got these 1936 Gaudi wide cards. They're um, they're kind of about the size of a postcard. They're pretty cool. Picked them up really cheap. Thought they looked really cool, and I hope that I can buy some more. Got John Markham. Earl Grace. Down here at the bottom we have Rabbit Pitelack. Walter Berger. And Jimmy Dykes. So those those are pretty cool pickups in my opinion there. 1936. Then we move on to a 1950 Two. I think this is 51 Bowman. That's like a couple bucks ending on eBay. I just snatched up it. The card just, I guess, pulled me in. It's just, you know, it's not the greatest of looking card as far as picture quality, but it just looked interesting. Just for 51, I got Bob Ramazzotti. As you can see, it's not, it's kind of an ugly looking card, but I thought it was cool for a couple bucks. 
Got some 56 tops, Ronnie Klein. Larry Jackson. And Milt Bowling. We got a bunch of 57s that I picked up. Gene Woodley. Hirsch Freeman. Ray Crone. Rip Coleman. Saul Hemis. Ed Bailey. Just beautiful cards. Even you know, even though their condition is not that great, they're still really awesome. Camilo Pasquale, 57, really nice set. I really love it. We'll keep picking them up. Dell Rice, I used to have a, I think it was a 54 tops card of him. Milt Bowling. Walt Droppo. Stan Lopata, World War II veteran there. Bob Kennedy. Ray Moore. Duke Moss. Then we move on to some 58s. Got Al Worthington. Awesome guy. Irv Norin. Also World War II veteran. He's still size TTM for uh, $10, I think. I need to send to him. Carol Hardy, the only man to ever pinch hit for Ted Williams. Really cool card right there. Milt Bowling. And Pete Wizenhunt. Or Wizenhunt. I thought it was kind of a cool card with the black background. Just looked interesting. Got a 61 tops card and Norm Cash. Really underrated hitter for the Tigers. Honestly, I think he could possibly make the Hall of Fame someday. So I try to pick up his cards if I see him. Got 63 tops and Nelly Foxes came out of a box of cards that I also still haven't finished going through. It's not in really good shape or anything like that, but it's a Nelly Fox Hall of Famer, 63 tops, so of course I'm going to keep it. Got a couple of 67 Al K lines. This one, and then got the Bengal Belters Cash and K line. That was a cool card. Got a couple of 1970 tops cards. Got Brooks Robinson. So basically, I just went on and just bought like. Like searched up certain Hall of Famers and just bought like tried to buy like every single year of cards that I could afford. Tony Perez, got 71. Brooks Robinson, Joe Morgan. I used to have this card a long time ago. Don Buford. My mom found this in the trash can. I have no idea where it came from or where I got it from, but she found it in the trash can. And I've never seen this card before in my life, so that was kind of funny. So thanks, mom. Um, I think this is from 1971. The scratch off cards, Tony Perez, has been scratched off, but I'm not sure. I just put it under 71 because that's where I think it was. 72, Joe Morgan. Used to have that one too, once upon a time. Tony Perez. Uh, bench in action because I couldn't afford his regular 72 <laughs> tops. So I went with the in action card. Also got Brooks Robinson. Got some 73s here. Got Johnny Bench. Brooks Robinson. I'm sure you already know it. Tony Perez. See a theme going on here, guys. Uh, Mickey Rivers, 74 tops. I pulled that one out of a box. He's a decent player, so I kept him. Brooks Robinson. I try to keep the more decent players. or the, Depending on the picture, if I like it, or maybe the condition of the card. It, it really depends. Or the name. Could be a funny name or something. Johnny Bench, 74. Tony Perez from 75 and Brooks Robinson from 75. A couple 76 tops. Brooks Robinson, that's a cool card. Tony Perez. Brooks Robinson from 77. Tony Perez. Johnny Bench from 77. And Johnny Bench from 78, that was the only Hall of Famer bot. I already have Tony Perez, I believe, and uh, the Brooks Robinson already in my binder. And then these are ones that pulled out of the box as well. Some more better players in their day. Rick Monday, of course, has a famous, famous uh, a game where he uh, takes the flag away from some guys that ran on the field and were trying to burn it. And uh, he's very well known for that. A very patriotic man there. Uh, Lee Mazzilli. 
Andre Thornton, power hitting, power hitter from the Indians. Larry Gura, pretty decent left hander back in the day. Hal McCray, a really underrated hitter. Um, didn't hit like for a ton of power, but he could hit for average pretty decently. Ken Brett, George Brett's brother, that's lesser known. Gary Maddox. Scott McGregor. Played for a long time for the Orioles. Sandy Alomar Sr. Not Jr. Ron Say, the Penguin. Got a TTM back from him that I'll show you guys later today. Don Kessinger. Long time shortstop. And Rick Cerrone. That might be his rookie card or second year. Just thought it looked cool. Got some 79s. Got Wilbur Wood. Tony Perez with Expos. And Johnny Bench. I believe that was his last year playing. Yep, sure was. Or maybe 78 was. And then I uh, picked up like some player by PC. Picked up a ton of Roger Clemens cards. Inserts and base that I didn't have. So we'll just go through these real quick. They were really cheap, like 50 cents, 60 cents, 30 cents, you name it. <clears throat> on CMC, so I just bought like pretty much the whole page <laughs> of any cards I didn't have of them already. Got some Damien Easley's. Season 1 player I tried to PC. Tops Heritage Chrome. I wanted to try and find. I had a Roger Clemens from this year. Tops Heritage Chrome Gold. That was numbered. Or maybe it was, it was numbered 1959. I think. Well, actually, it might have been lower. I can't remember, but I couldn't find it at all. Damon Easley. But it was a cool card. I wanted to really buy that one. Got a <clears throat> Brewer of the Year. Is that what that's supposed to be? 1992? I don't know. Of course, 2000 hit. Robin Yount. 3000 hit club. It's a cool card. Tops Bunt. Nice portrait. Found one Louis Salazar card that I didn't have. Got some Lou Whitakers that I didn't have. Hey, John Russ. 92 Fleer. I might have that one. I'm not sure. So those are cool. A few more guys hanging with me. Next, uh, in that box of cards, random baseball cards, about there's a bunch of jerseys and one autograph in there. I don't really collect jerseys, so these might go in the next giveaway or something. So, Robin Ventura. I, think I might keep this one for the Louis Gonzalez binder, like the page in the binder, I guess. Maybe if it'll fit. Aaron Boone, Game Face Gear. That's kind of interesting. It's kind of pinstripe. Gary Sheffield. That was kind of interesting. I, I forgot I had that one. Carlos Lee with the Brewers. Pablo Ozuna. Maglio Ordonez, a couple of his, somebody would like really like Maglio Ordonez, Luis Gonzalez, that would probably not fit in the binder, look how thick that card is, and there's a Robert Fick autograph, and he doesn't really sign TTM, it's always come back return to sender, so, I'll take it, I wanted to send him, so, Robert Fick autograph all the way, then uh, these are in there, some inserts, Parallels and stuff. But these were kind of cool. Game Breakers from 1994 Fleer Extra Bases. They're like super long cards, like almost the size of a bookmark. Tim Salmon, Kirby Puckett, Jeff Bagwell, Dave Winfield, you know. Just all kinds of guys. I thought they were cool, so I kept them. Got a Fred McGriff Retail Predictor. This is a cool Jay Buna card from Stadium Club. There's Blue Chips, Albert Pools. Hank Blaylock, Jimmy Rollins, J. Roll. Got a Hideo Nomo, that's kind of a cool looking card. Numbered to 250, Ben Sheets, Fleer Legacy, that might be a rookie. Mike Maddox, no more Garcia Parra, I think I already had that one. People's Choice, Garcia Parra, Gonzalez, I used to have both those cards in one, once upon a time. Jackie Robinson, pulled this out of a pack of 1997 tops, I don't know. 
Anything about him? Willie Mays card thought looked cool. So I I kept it. And then I think finally, rookies. Baseball rookies. We got four minutes left. Let's try and do this here. I got a Vaughn Hayes rookie. I've always wanted his rookie for some reason, so well, I got Ben Grieve, not technically his rookie. It's really from 94, but I just remember when this guy was super big. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Bowman Chrome. Andre Scalaraga, Elgato rookie. So I'll go in the Rockies binder probably. Uh, Joey Bell, aka Albert Bell, Leaf. Got a Joey Creedy. I only pull this out because it numbered a thousand. He, he was a decent player. He, had, he could hit for power. There's a couple of Vinny Castillo rookies from Fleer. One I pulled out, one I pulled out of a pack, one came out of the box. Here's the other one. Mark Grace, Fleer Glossy. It's not the regular Fleer. Tom Glavin, Fleer Glossy. 88 score, I pulled this out of a pack. There's a rack pack of 88 score in the box. Pulled this card out, thought that was kind of cool. Tom Glavin. Uh, picked up some Byron Buxton rookies. I saw Dustin Abraham's and Dustin Bellinger's uh, Double D Card Talk video about some guys to pick up that are really cheap. I didn't have, so I, did, I uh, followed their video and tried to pick up some of the rookies that I could afford. Got a bunch of Trey Mancini's. He's really affordable. Got a Gliber Torres. Luis Severino. To say I got him. Got a Carlos Correa. Do not have any of his cards. Got Tyler Wade. Um, saw She Got Sports, who was introduced to me by uh, TN Autographs. And she was talking about how he might be the next Aaron Judge, not like with power, but just having a really good rookie season, maybe this year or next year. So they were cheap. I picked up his rookies and hoping that maybe he'll do decent. So Tyler Wade picked up a bunch for like 50 cents. So I mean. Why not give it a shot? You never know. Man. That is it. So, man, that was a lot of pickups. <laughs> I spent too much money. So, I guess uh, I'll come to you. I guess toward probably towards the end of April. Unless I pick something up really cool that I have to show before that. Um, we'll just go from there, you know. Just every month try to do one of these videos. And yeah, thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Definitely subscribe to the channel to see more TTM videos. See, pick up the videos to see like box and pack breaks uh, every now and then. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So I do all kinds of different things for you. So thanks for watching everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you all later. Bye.